Oh, what have you seen, Phil? Oh, um, a gentleman. No, I thought it was a flag. But again, I look back. You look again. I look back, and it was there and then disappeared again. But it's the corner of the eye. And that's this flag here, just this around flag, the yeah, stage. The left of the flag, yeah. Was somebody quite not, not too tall? I say about five, eight, six foot. Carry those, you know, like a leather holder, don't Obviously, you? Yeah, strong belt, yeah. Down there. Yeah, standard. I was thinking, is it, is it my eyes playing tricks? It's a flag causing, I don't know, Michael Parry on me or whatever. But no, there's somebody stood there. I find it quite intriguing that as I'm standing here, it's as if I'm between the, the cracks of the, the, um, the folding doors on the rostrum there. The light's shining through, but it's getting interrupted from time to time, as if someone's walking backwards and forwards. We did go and have a look up there earlier, and as I came down the stairs, I got a strong impression as well of people chanting. So whether they would be chanting a prayer, it seemed as if there was more of a, a little bit of a musical lilt with it as well. But something quite... Um, specific, something that would have regularly been part of some service okay. or ritual. Would that make sense? Um, since I've arrived in the building tonight, um, I've been hearing my name being whispered. Um, as soon as I stepped in the building, um, I could hear it. Um, so we're just using this device here to see if we can pick up anything. This is the SP7, um, it's in full, full sweep at the moment, half in sweep. Um, we have had quite a few uh, discussions on it uh, from a lady, so it's just, just come through back, back to her again. If you're with us now, tell us your name again. You can try and make it more clear for us. Alan, is this you? Please come forward. It's Kim and I'll tell. Come tell us your name, please. Start bleeding, and, yeah, and a sort of change of atmosphere, okay. static, EMF. <laughs> Again, if that changes, if it fluctuates, there's something obviously. Okay. Will it go up or down? It'll go red. It'll go red. You'll see it flying to the side, yeah, yeah it'll go red. But that shouldn't be ringing like that as you're walking around with it. No. Please try to get off scale. That's just saying power. Take it right it off the scale. It'll go. <coughs> and come round and on. Come forward and grab the device. Grab the device and take it right off the scale. Just move it around a little bit, Kim. So you can pinpoint if you get me. If you go back now, see if it starts yeah, when you it? go back. Mm. So you can pinpoint where there's a slight energy and you'll know when it's moved. So there's somebody here. Mm. Just here. Just here. Just take it down to the floor, Kim. So it's not that there's any electronics no. running underneath or. Take it lower. Yeah. Stop. 860. Um. Take the tone down. It's, it's going off. <laughs> it's going out, yeah. Well, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, Take the tone down even more. A duller tone. That's going out, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is that not on command, though, as well, to well, annoy you? Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Okay, take it higher. 
Reverse psychology. Take the tone higher. Give us one more chance. Has it gone down? Yeah. It seems lower. Yeah, really low. That's going lower. Okay, take it higher. Come on, you can do it. John. I think Chris is over there. Talk to the gentleman over there. Talk to Stephen. Can you confirm your name? He's John. Is that what's on his name? I was speaking to John. Is it you who's making the numbers move? How? Oh. You alright? No, I've just been. <laughs> What's up, mate? I don't know. It poked. <laughs> was, he, was he kicked? I don't know what it was. It was, it was shot up again. Come on, seriously. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're probably getting beaten here like today. <laughs> Something like that. not great, have you? Look at you, sir. That's quite normal for you, quite to, yeah. to do that. <clears throat> John. As I said, the numbers will come down. They've never gone up. Never ever gone up. Just okay. build the putting energy into the battery. Maybe we'll the charge batteries out the amazing. Right, as I was in the main hall talking all together, um, of things happening all around us, in the doorway to the well, to the right of the kitchen area, there's something come through, stood in the doorway, and made its way upstairs. And this is why we'd be on the stage now to see what uh, what's up here. Okay, guys, you're right. Um, what I do? Just finish my dictaphone, and then we do a bit of a live EVP, shall we? Because it's quite a bit of activity. You've been hearing things. I've been hearing yeah. things. Okay. You've been seeing things. You've been you your name called since you walked in. Yeah. Back here, like um, past us, you've been seeing shadows moving past there as well. So, basically, around the back of the stage, you notice the, the door down there that was one of the original door. Here we go again. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it isn't as you thought. You brought something up with you. <laughs> I'll just spin it again. What did you feel? I'm gonna go for some massive cord. wall of energy, just bang, <clears throat> and I feel so static. I feel I don't feel. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to see what it is. Okay, we're going for record. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Was that you say something? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sounds really loud. So, we've got a direct feed from the dictaphone into me here so I can hear it a bit better, so I can concentrate. Is anybody up here with us? Which is affecting Phil and Kimberly and all of us, really. It's getting quite warm up in our eyes. My face is feeling strange, no comment. My face is feeling strange as if energy is building on it a little bit now, as it does, you know, so we'll just see. Maybe just, it will. I had the same thing, Pat. Rushed towards me, mm. the face, it felt like it was changing. And obviously it's come from me to you. So, not female, a gentleman. I don't know what it is yet, it's just sort of mm. come through. They tend to come and build. On the, the energies, right? So we'll just see. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll just get some information. Okay. When he was talking, the gentleman went yes. Gentleman. Okay, step forward, sir or ma'am, to tell me who you are. This device is just a recorder. I mean, this has been going on all day since. Good evening. Good evening, sir. What's your name, please, sir?
bit of force there. What's your name? My name's Phil. Oh, Kimberly. We've got Stephen. What's your name, sir? You're the gentleman that's been heard in the main hall area. Good evening, Richard. How are you, sir? Richard Matthew Mark Luke. Luke. What's, what's the last one? John. Thank you, sir. Did you hear that whistle? Whistle. Did you hear that whistle? Whistle. Thank you for that. Who are you, sir? A keeper. Can you explain, sir? Keeper of what? Keeper of the truth. Matthew. Bless you, sir. Gabriel. Have you come to protect us, sir? Are you going to resolve protection? You belong here. Keep it in faith. Do you know my name, sir? Do you know my name, sir? Do you know my past life name, sir? Mr. 
başlayabiliriz. Michael Holder. Is it Michael Holder? Michael Holder of the Power. Or are you allowed in for him, sir? Well, let us know if you're a sir. Do you see that then, Chris? Something on here. Just a bit of noise. Yeah, he, I don't know if it's a fly <coughs> flying around or what it is, but it was quite a, a bright white light which moved away from. Oh, I saw that. Did you see it? Yeah. I've got that on film. Just up in the loft filming on record. And it's all pretty quiet at the moment. Getting quite warm up here. Is anybody here with me? Is anybody here? really warm up here boiling hot
Anybody? I've captured a very, very strange sound outside of the building just while doing some B-roll footage panning up and down. I'll let you listen to that here now. Yeah, there's a number of devices in here, so I'm basically just sat here by myself while Steve's in the other room. Um, I've just done a UV sweep round session. As you can see, and see if we can see anything up, so keep an eye on the video. See if you see anything. I'm just going to do a bit of a spirit box session because earlier on we were talking with a spirit energy, the name of Helen. Helen, and she was answering. So let's see if we pick the person up again. Are you allowed in this room, Helen? Now, as an investigator, I don't know why I'm shown because spirit are psychic. All you have to do is think out. You don't have to keep calling out. No. I'm just going to move around the room so we can pick up the energy. Any spirit friends here with us now? Would you like to come forwards? Can you say that again, please? Hello? There's one of the other main men, this is Stephen Griffiths. You got out? anything going on? Oh. Actually quite scared. Come in and have a seat. Someone just trashed our room. What? Our room. You're joking me, aren't you? What? And <sighs> let's go. I've just turned the reactor on ten minutes ago, Stephen. Not even that. What do you mean they've trashed our kit room? It wouldn't move. Okay. When you were to hear it. And the, the last sound. I'd summon was in there, in this room, and knocking stuff about. And he never even walked in here to find out what it was. What did it sound like? Crap. Is that what it sounded like? So what happened? What exactly happened? It's on the floor. On the, uh, what's it called? Oh, the SLS. Yes, right. on, the, uh, on the chair, trying to get someone to stand up and sit in the chair. And then there was a more mighty bang and rustling near. I caught it on the dick's phone. Fantastic. I froze, because <laughs> it was actually quite loud. And uh, I don't know whether it was inside here or out there. And then I moved the onto the doorway, so skip trying to get it to come to the doorway. This time it just it's just tingling all over me. Movement around the room. You know there was something in here. I'm actually quite frightened actually. There's a, a very, very, very cold blast that I just had here next. Look. There you go guys, you see the goose pimples. You you can't fake this stuff. You can't. Right, and um and I said, come on, stand near the doorway. And it was a clack, you know the noise where you had out heard outside? Oh yeah. But it was that next to me. The chant. It was a near enough. <laughs> Unbelievable, honestly. This place, it's got a bit of a dark side to it. <laughs> Right, guys, we're just uh, coming to the committee room and um, see if we can uh, channel anything in here. Uh, I, do, I do believe there's something walked out of here and I'll stay up the up stairway behind the stage area. So, we'll, we'll see if we can catch uh, anything in here and um, try and do a bit of trance with uh, Patricia. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay. 
Well, we have heard noises from this direction while we've been in the big hall as well. Yeah, so there were knockings and all we sorts of things. We thought we'd just come and see if we could find out a little bit more. Yeah. So give it a shot. I film quite okay now. Um, don't film a bad energy. Not like outside, there's something different outside. But in here, it feels calm. It's peaceful. It's peaceful, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Can you move your name, please, sir? God bless you. Bernard, can I have your second name, please, sir? Your surname. Just send me a place, sir. Try and be honest, sir. Use my energy. Bernard. White. Bernard White, is that correct, sir? Thank you. What was the year you passed, sir? Do you know who you passed? Here is it, sir? Was your part of the committee? The Brotherhood.
Ah, oh, she's there. Prayer. Prepare. You prepare, what's that? You have some sort of rag on sir. Can you tell me how old you were, sir? Seventy. Seventy-two, thank you, sir. Okay, sir. It's still the same person. There's somebody else now. <gasps> It was pulled away because I don't think the questions I was asking was. I think that what energy I'd got just went, and I think that was it. I was empty. That's how it felt. Mm. There, was a, there was something over here. It was loud. It, well, I could hear it over here. It was a groan. I never feel fearful though because I know yeah, it was, it's, he's it's always a, with me. Mm. Would you say that that was a, a decent, outstanding person who was coming through, or because, like I say, all I can say is. <clears throat> There was a ground <coughs> which happened then. I didn't feel negative. He wouldn't let anyone back. He's, no, him. it's not him, it's something him. else. Mm. There's something else in this place. I get the feeling there was a lot of jealousy. Okay. Say jealousy, I mean, would it be possible that in a situation like this, some would perhaps be of a rank that others would envy? Of course. Possible, yeah. Yeah, of course. I believe the gentleman is, is growling or is, is sighing or... He's probably just growling or is mumbling grumpy, to himself, yeah. Grumpy person grumpy. in life and in death, so... Yeah. It was just near the end when you said the energy changed mm. and the body felt, language I felt, changed. I felt something... That's when... when you I were just felt again. as if I'd got to... Come back. Come back, yeah. 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 And whatever was there was taken away, so... Spirit, if there's any way that we can have some form of communication with you, please use this chance. We've come from all over the country, well, a few of us have come from the other side of the country to be here. Other people, they're still the same, we've come here to try and communicate with you. You've not been given this chance before, please use it. You 
obviously know how to harness your energy because we've heard sounds, we felt the coldness, we've heard things being moved around, we've supposedly attacked one of our mediums who was here with us this evening and today. I've just gone down. I've just gone down. I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Something's messing around with me. Yeah, well, you can sort of. I feel. Uh, yeah. I can't hang it. Yeah, I can't focus in on your face. Yeah. It won't focus. It's something, it's something no, it's just... It tends to go a bit like that when you walk sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Just how different things work. You've just started to feel different, haven't you? Because this has just come back in again nice and clear, but... How? Yes. You alright? No, I've just been. <laughs> What's up, mate? I don't know. A bit poked. <laughs> was he kicked? I don't know what it was. It was, it was shot up again. Come on, seriously. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're probably getting beaten here like today. But this, I'd really like to know what is being chanted in this video, Spirit. What is, what is this sound? Who is this? Please take note how the camera stays in focus until the moment I play this recording. Spirit, what is that? chanting so whether they would be chanting a prayer it seemed as if there was more of a a little bit of a musical lilt with it as well but something quite um, specific something that would have regularly been part of some service or ritual would that make sense is it one of you from here You don't want to talk to us. Can you copy us? Okay, Spirit, if that was you, can you do that again? Because I just think it's the window warming up or oh, getting cold, but. The gentleman in the other room who trying to spook me, can you not come into this room? Can you touch one of the devices? None of them will harm you. You've made yourself known anyway by talking and bumping things. And he was moving something in the cloak room. So why can't you do something in here? Tap one of the pictures. Tap one of the tables in front of us. In front of us. Was it me or did you hear that tap in there? Where were you? In the kitchen. Welcome. Come in. 
and talk to us, please. You're getting the reactions, buddy. Was that you making a sign in the kitchen? Can you do, can you do this again? What above is in the offices, the old offices upstairs. Upstairs, make a bump or a bang. No preview piece, that was my stomach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the opening ode to be sung immediately after the noble grand declares the lodge duly open. <laughs> Drive to 